Hey there, PCA2 builders. It's uh, Joe here, Joe Dini, and uh, I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys helping you out with your landing gear. If you want to do it my way, uh, you could do it. Uh, there's, of course, there's lots of ways you could do it, but uh, but anyway, the way that it is in the kit is um, pretty basic, and I think we've been pretty happy with it so far. Uh, you can see what I've done here. I just took this wire. This is a three, excuse me, five thirty seconds wire, and I bent it. And you can see that it's not perfectly flat, so I'll straighten that out in a second. But that uh, was just a quick bend through things. So, all right. So uh, the wire here, if you just use the uh, plans, you can do the measurements on that and the angles. And uh, I have my son, Christian, the paparazzi, <laughs> taking pictures of me. <laughs> Goofball. So uh, anyway, I'm going to attach this on there. Uh, and you guys can see what we have. So uh, you can see different things on here, how Dave has it. So looks pretty good. But uh, I'll show you what we do here. All right. Uh, here we go, guys. So I wanted to show this thing to you. This is the uh, Mighty Bender KNS. Uh, the metal place tower sells these, uh, but uh, this is just a really nice tool. I just bought it when I first start building the the uh, second piece or the first PCA2, and uh, just is so nice. So it just melts like butter. You got a big old leverage here, and very easy to do. Also, I use one of these. Uh, I kind of double check things on the um, all this. This is a Williams Brothers model. And they have some nice measurements here, but I kind of double check things here. And uh, all this is just like what's on the plans pretty well. So uh, the next thing I do is I attach the landing gear and I tighten it down enough where I can bend it uh, back and forth. So I wish I had a tripod, but I can't find it. Go figure. Uh, so what I like to do is I like, sorry guys, I like to bend it forward. So what you can see here is I want my front wheel, my landing gear wheel, to line up with this edge here. Uh, I want it as far forward as possible. That's the way the real one was. The wheel, if you look at the wheel and you look at the, the leading edge, uh, it's, it's right in line with each other. So I want it about right there. So I move that to a spot where it, that's about right. You can see the other one's about right too. It's even out pretty good. And then next thing I do is I take this and I bend it about the same angle as this back one. Now, I do want to show you a couple things here. This is what made me think of doing the video. I'm going to turn this off for a second. All right, guys, so I've snapped that in. So I made the angle about the same as this one here. But I made it, what I did is I actually made it a little more slightly bent in because if I did the same angle, it would be parallel to this, which is fine. You can do it that way. Uh, that would be perfectly parallel but what I like to do is I like to bend it in just a, just a tad more because this shortens this length here uh, between here and here so uh, in my mind I think it should be about three and a half inches I think the way it's on the plans is about four but I like about three and a half so that way you get a nicer look from the side so both of those slanted together so alright so if I didn't do, um, if I had it perfectly parallel together, it'd be about like this, and that's fine, but I, I want it a little bit closer together. Okay? So that's the next thing I do. So after I've figured that out about, I'll go ahead and do a measurement here. That's about three and a half there. And all I do is I just make a line parallel to the wing, and that's exactly where I'm going to bend it. And the bend is not going to be out like this. It's actually going to be towards the uh, front landing gear. So I have to figure out. It's not as easy. This is probably the tough part about this, is you can't just bend it straight out because you'll never reach this point here. So you have to bend it actually at an angle this way. So there's it's almost like two, two angles you have to do. This and this. So I'll go ahead and attempt to do that real quick, and I'll be right back. I just want to show one more thing guys. When I do this line, what I normally do is I make a long line on the side I'm going to bend it towards. 
So like I said, it's going to bend towards this point way over here. So I make that line on that side. And I know at the bottom of the line is where I want to bend it. So just a little quick tip there. Okay guys, uh, I have done it. I've bent it. Uh, this one was a little higher. And this one was like right on. But I'm okay with that. So what I'm going to do anyway is this is going to go underneath it anyway. About right there. And then it's going to bend down towards this uh, hole here, uh, the center of this plywood mount. All right. Uh, now, I went ahead and just double checked everything. I know in my head that from this point to this point is seven inches. And uh, sure enough, I just checked it out a second ago and it's seven inches. So that's perfect because I'm going to have two four inch tubes. They're going to slide up and down here and uh, that's going to complete as eight. Uh, seven is uh, the longest it's ever going to be, and it's going to compress down, of course, down to six, uh, which would be fine. But uh, so there you go. Um, this right here, this wire here, I'm now going to mark it. I'm going to measure here to here and make sure I have the same distance here, and I'm going to bend that straight down to that point there. That's what I'll do next.